Wanted to bring you guys a video today and show you our new 2023 Kaufman Gooseneck trailers. I'm gonna give you guys a walk around. These are custom built for us. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a walk around, show you what they're like. Might be something you guys might be interested in having Kaufman build for you. And uh, just show you why we love uh, Kaufman as a company and their products. So I'll, we'll get these unloaded here, show you how we unload them. And then we are, I'll give you a walk around video of the trailers up close and personal. foot flat deck with a six foot dovetail eight foot ramps uh, it is a custom order so it has less of an incline on your dovetail uh, <coughs> standard would be like a 25 five uh, there's your receiver your chains spare tire mounted up top we did request a on this unit so I'll show you that here in just a second here's your double jack I think there are 12ks on each side We've got a chain box pretty nice chain box right here I'll open it up for you so you can see what it looks like you got your chain box right there pretty much holds anything you need for this size of the trailer up to the winch here this is a 9,000 pound uh, Pierce winch uh, you can tell it's definitely a high quality winch this will lift 9,000 pounds of dead weight in the air so very strong everything's wired up for that it's a, about a 1500 option that side foot plate here there's one on the other side as well i'll show you this this side of the winch here extra bracing for your uh winch support there um, that way you can pull on skid steers, scissor lifts, boom lifts, whatever you're going to be pulling on uh, to this trailer if it's dead or not moving. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit closer look up for this winch here. your control box here. And then, uh, this is the, like I said, this is the Pierce 9K winch. Very nice winch. Nothing compared to like the cheap ones you buy at the store. Um, this is a higher quality one quality winch that Kaufman sells. All your wiring runs up the frame of the gooseneck here. And like I said, there's your spare mounted to the top right there. So give you a little bit on the upper deck here. Show you what the craftsmanship's crash, crash like here. Pretty standard, like most other gooseneck trailers. So go ahead and step back down. Pretty much the only thing that was custom on this trailer was the 20, 20, the uh, 24 foot flat and the six foot dove. We, had, we also requested um, extra wide ramps for our scissor lifts and smaller items so that um, we, did, we didn't have such a big spacing in between the ramps. So I think those are 44 inch, I believe, each ramp. Got duels on here. These, this is the 10K axle on this unit, not the 12K Dexter, it's the 10K Dexter. Um, but we're pretty much hauling lighter stuff on this unit. So I think this trailer weighs about 10. So it should hold about, it's rated at 25, nine. So it should hold, easily hold 10 to, 10 to 12,000, no problem. 
um, give you a little under view of the, uh, the framing on this unit here. You can see the big beams, the cross bracing right there. Going down underneath there, you can see very nice trailer. Looks like those are spaced about, uh, these are spaced about every 16 inches underneath and sc screwed down about every 24 inches. Then we'll come back here. Another item we did request on this was hydraulic cylinders on the ramps because that is pretty much standard with this trailer with this bigger ramps. Um, they're not spring loaded. We use hydraulic cylinders um, just because they're so heavy. It makes it easier on your guys hauling equipment if you're doing the hauling. Got your control box mounted here for the up and down. This is a single acting pump. So um, for the up function, the down function just re relieves pressure off the cylinders and they move down with gravity. There's the battery box, this trailer and your storage tank and pump on the back side there. It is open, but the battery is sealed. So you should be fine there. And it's closed on this end as well. So you can see all the mounted in there. But um, so that's just your control for your ramps and that is wired to the seven pin as well. So that will charge. Um, with the, as well as the battery at the front one for the winch, it'll charge with the truck as the truck's running. So you shouldn't have any issues there. Eight foot tall ramps. Like I said, I think they're 44 inches wide. So you have a pretty small gap there, maybe six, eight inches. And show you here how the rams are connected. Right there you can see all LED lights on this trailer. It is lifetime LEDs on, I believe, all Kaufman trailers. Um, you have one go out, give them a call, they send you one for another charge. We've only had to do it one time, so uh, pretty good here. Here's the bracing for your ramp. Pretty, pretty heavy duty C channel bracing. trailer guys for the money uh, obviously this is 2000 I, I bought this about five months ago or put the order in so it took about five months to get in um, so you know, the prices are always changing but we I think we gave about 20 uh, I'm not even gonna say the price because I don't really remember so um, but yeah very nice trailer I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the operation of the ramps just so you can see that how that works here you could change it to a dual acting if you wanted the downward pressure and the upward pressure to work off the pump um, and operate off the pump but this is like i said it's a single acting pump so go ahead and show you that here and go from there like i said before gravity just lets the ramps down and then it uses the hydraulic pressure to lift the ramps up so you'll hear that run in just a second once these are down i'll give you a quick look to show you how or what the ramps look from a different angle again these are eight foot ramps so that nice long pretty low sloped ramp you get quite a bit uh, over that even the low profile equipment you can get over the top of that uh, bump right there or it goes from the six foot dovetail to the 24 foot flat deck there's that there's our other one we just bought so we'll go ahead and return it back here to the other spot and then I'll raise them up and show you how they raise up.
Well, there you go, guys. This is Ben with American Equipment. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video today. Please subscribe to my channel for future videos on equipment, things we're doing around the business here. And uh, I appreciate the subscriptions. Ask if you have any questions. Be more than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, guys, thanks a lot.